Hello Taurus, how are you guys doing? So I'm not pulling out animal spirit cards, but I am pulling out a different oracle deck. And this is Mary Queen of Angels, if you're interested. And you guys have gratitude coming up as an important message for you guys this week. And this says, I notice and appreciate my blessings. I open the door. Sorry, as I notice and appreciate my blessings, I open the door to more of God's gifts. So when we are grateful about something and, and more and more things and start to grow that list of things that we're grateful for, we start to not only notice more things and become even more grateful and have more things around us that we're happy about, but also that energy does attract in even more things. So then we get an abundance of great things. So again, uh, that's important for you guys this week. Let's dive in a little bit more and see what else we have for you guys this week. All right, let's see for my lovely lovely taurians out there what is the message that taurus needs to hear this week please spirit all righty that literally just came up for aries every single week you guys are matching right <laughs> so you have not for you so something is not for you this card usually comes in where it's some sort of rejection in some way but remember rejection is protection instead of looking at what is not for you let's start appreciating the things that we do have around us that make us feel good okay because it might help us deal with this rejection a little bit more you have the temple path which is always a card that comes in when you're about to enter a, a chapter of your life or a specific place or event will happen this week that is fated you're almost entering a, a place in your life where you agree to be at you knew you would be here in this position in the spirit world so that's pretty interesting all right so that we're gonna see what that might be for you guys let me just show you the nope card not for you i say nope because there's a fortune cookie here with a little note saying nope something is not right for you and that's why the doors close and that's why things get a bit uncomfortable a bit chaotic here but it's too early to see how this will resonate for you. So let's save a little bit deeper. All right. Let's see what else is going on for you here. For the lovely Taurus, please mysticism that's interesting this card comes in when there is like an unexpected visitor in your life so you guys could be meeting somebody uh fated again with the temple path or again your intuition could be heightening at this time sorry my camera just cut out there um so let's see what else is going on for taurus okay we have some insecurity you see how that came up on top of not for you okay don't let this get to you um thinking that it's your fault that something's not working out okay don't let it play in your insecurities it's not your fault remember the not for you is clearly about the fact that spirit is saying this is not a game that you're going to win in as you can see the there is a chessboard here and it represents some sort of game might be being played here and one that might be rigged against you so just pay attention to like we say uh, rejection is protection most of the time um and that usually means that we never really know what could happen if we actually if someone if we don't get rejected from something it, it plays out a little bit like it's almost like a blessing in disguise that's coming through for you guys this week so don't let this plan your insecurities blaming your fault for something not working out i'm not good enough i'm not skilled enough talented enough i'm not lovable whatever the situation is i'm not sure but it might plan your insecurities a little bit that's the devil talking right it's not the truth okay again god has protected you from something through some sort of rejection or something not working out for a reason Okay, so don't let that fear creep in. But of course, easier said than done. And I feel like that's why they're saying to focus on gratitude. But let's look a little bit more. Let's get one more. Then I'll fix this because I feel like everything is wonky. Let's see. Taurus. And then you have isolation. So again, Aries had a similar message because they had the hermit coming through. So maybe you're spending some more time in isolation this week. It's good if I'm going to relate it to the hermit because the hermit is all about introspection, analyzing, observing from a higher perspective. But if we are isolating ourselves to the point that we are making excuses not to go out there into the world and get new opportunities, then it becomes an issue that we're not just isolating. We're not just taking time out. We're actually isolating ourselves and distancing distancing ourselves from the world so it's really important not to make excuses okay usually the isolation card comes in as like a accept the invite if you get invited to something this week it's a good time to go <laughs> unless it's in alignment to the not for you card of course but there is an invitation here and he's saying i don't have anything to wear but he does he has a suit here for special occasions so 
uh, it could be a good time to just not make excuses for yourself this week because you might end up meeting somebody an unexpected friend an unexpected you know a person here who might be able to help you in some way or become the love of your life depends on your situation of course right you have new coming through you have abundance coming through as well let's get you one more and mission complete all right let's show you these cards so new says a cycle has ended. Welcome the new change is coming for good. So that's amazing. Then you have abundance, which is also really cool. Rich inside out, generous money flow, prosperity is on the way. So some of you are going to get a windfall of finances. I do feel like this feels very business wise. Any networking that you do or any events, it could be like a work event. And you're like, oh, this is so boring. I don't want to go. But then you go in and you meet someone. I have a really good uh, conversation that actually helps with some sort of abundance here. So that will be interesting. Um, but it says rich inside out. And I wanted to pick up on it because why? what you focus on grows and a lot of you need to focus on understanding that you already are rich inside you're just waiting for it to you're just waiting for the universe to bring it in for you but anyway you do have a, a abundance here so i do see prosperity coming your way then mission complete this says congratulations you made it old is ending new is coming so it makes a little bit more sense here with the fact that something is closing out and there is a new energy coming through over here as well. So let's look into your tarot and figure it all out and piece this all together, how it resonates with you, Taurus. Let's see. What is the overall energy for the week, please? The Six of Cups, that's nostalgia. That's past people. Maybe an old friend comes through here out of the blue. All right. Or this is also a card of soulmates. So it could be really important for a meeting or having fun or being invited by such and soulmates. All right. This week, we will dive into that a little bit more. You could be feeling more nostalgic, maybe craving connections this week as well, especially with isolation here. So again, a good time to put yourself out there. Six of Cups is really important for focusing on connections that are equally and mutually beneficial not just one-sided okay so make sure that we are moving away from anything that is like that seven of cups uh, to talk about your energy i'm just going to pull one more for that because i wasn't really asking in my mind yet before it jumped out so let's see what is taurus's energy this week please spare it six of wands so the seven of cups coming through here could mean that there's a little bit of confusion going on within you all right maybe there's a lot of options you're not quite sure quite certain where to go what to do or maybe there is some like illusions going on internally but the six of wands coming through is really great because it means that this week you are going to feel quite victorious so i feel like everything works out again i will clarify your reading for you to dive a little bit deeper into these messages but the six of wands is all about recognition I want to say guidance too, like they're saying guidance because of that horse here. So maybe you guys are actually figuring out this week where you need to go. So even though this beginning of the week, you're a bit confused and have too many options. What do I do? Uh, and procrastinating maybe even as well. The six of wands is like victory and feeling like you're going in the right direction. It's also a card of recognition. So maybe this is a time of getting like a, a bonus of some kind or any kind of recognition can be good because this person is up on a high horse. They come out of the battle successfully. So for a lot of you, whatever you've been fighting or battling with, you are going to have victory above that. Okay, let's dive in a little bit more. Let's see what the potential challenge or blockages are this week six of wands this could be if this is to do with you this could be your confidence could be an issue this week especially with insecurity and that not for you because something might not work out or maybe you've dealt with some rejection or maybe you're worried about this in particular that could be knocking your confidence and your creativity okay so that's something that they're wanting you to focus on she's got the sunflower in her hands she's all about facing the sun right which is optimism joy freedom success all the good stuff so for a lot of you focusing on that might help you out focusing on your good things not your bad okay not focusing on your insecurities but focus focusing on the things that you do love and appreciate as i notice and appreciate my blessings i open the door to more of god's gifts this is recognizing that you are strong you are creative you have great ideas you are unique and that is going to your benefit okay with that queen of wands so for a lot of you, you need to stop caring about what other people think about you and just live your life <laughs> be you be your confident most beautiful version of yourself and not pay attention to the negatives or negative people that is around you or can be around you at this time but again i think i'm going to clarify all of your stuff for you so that's your challenge is to step up to that side of yourself all right let's see what um is going on in your external world this week the hanged one so nothing much 
This is a, a card that comes through when we're feeling a bit stagnant and stuck, maybe. You know, he's in a very uncomfortable situation, the hanged one here. So what it calls for you to do in your environment is to look at things a little bit differently. In your inner world, you have the same card as Aries. So let's get one more for advice. The star, your advice is to focus on your dreams. Focus on your wish fulfillment. If you don't know what your dreams are, it's a good time to get clear on it. The star card is all about your hopes and your purpose, you know, your North Star. It's also about healing. So for a lot of you, especially because it's coming up underneath your blockage and challenge of confidence, for a lot of you, it's about dealing with some insecurity. Some of you might have social anxiety. You know, with the Queen of Wands, like you are very... Um, the queen of wands she's super bubbly and charming she's got a great personality she's fiery energy right so for you guys you are that way i kind of feel like you guys have some like you overthink situations before going into it but when you're in it you can flow with it very well you have a good ability to adapt and that is what the king and queens of wands really does represent as well so for a lot of you you are very strong you are very stable you are very confident um but it's like you doubt yourself a lot and it does feel like it's that insecurity and isolation that's coming through with these two cards as well all right um now that's something to heal all right and how do we do that usually it's just by saying screw it i'm just gonna put myself out there but working on those inner things can help. And we will go into it in a second because over here in your inner wall this week is the Knight of Wands. So feeling a bit triggered or on guard or a bit defensive, wounded warrior. Uh, but let's dive into what's going on in your external. So again, it doesn't look like much is happening or if there is some things happening in your external, you feel like you're a little bit out of control. Not out of control. Yeah, it's not in your control is what I mean to say. You feel like there's not really much that you can do in your external surroundings to change what's going on. And if that is the case, good. <laughs> Only because the hanged one understands that there is nothing that he can do right now. But what he can do is embrace this uncomfortable situation of being upside down and see the benefit in it. And what is the benefit? Looking at life from a different perspective. When you're upside down and you are stuck. You have no choice but to reflect and to observe. So for this week, it's a really good message to observe some things that are coming up. I would say it's a really good time to meditate. I know it's not your inner world, but again, because your external world might be causing a little bit of conflict or insecurities, it's a really good time to kind of observe how you're feeling about it and observe what it makes you feel. And maybe by watching others, you might gain some enlightenment or inspiration about your own path or what you do want or what you don't want. So that's what the hangs man can kind of represent, but we will uh, look into it a bit more there's a fly here right the nine of wands coming through for you as your inner world is again the wounded warrior so there's something that has clearly impacted you um made you feel a bit wounded a bit battered and bruised okay so let's dive in a little bit more to see what that is for you let's see why is the nine of wands here in taurus's inner world what's going on here Four of Swords, so it's really about healing this. Whatever this is, taking some time out to heal. And the King of Pentacles, well, that's your energy. So for a lot of you in your inner world, they are saying that you're still wounded by something that may have happened in the past, worried that it might happen again. The Four of Swords and the King of Pentacles kind of is like a reassurance saying that you're safe now. Um, and like to find some, maybe some solidarity. That word's coming to mind. I don't even really know if that's the right way of saying it, but... To kind of find that within, okay? Finding peace of mind within, okay? I feel like it's it, it. you can be still right now. That's what it feels like. Because the 91 has been through conflict. It's anticipating another another one. But with the four swords, you can rest. You can heal. You can focus on building yourself up again. As the king of pentacles, as your energy is so all about stability. And I feel like maybe you felt like unstable lately or... um you definitely been through some kind of chaos here. So I feel like they're saying you can be at peace now, all right? Just focus on your inner healing so that you can be more stable and abundant as well. For some of you, maybe you've been you've been through like some sort of financial difficulty or something rocked your your stability. Um, maybe made you feel a lack of abundance here. They're saying that now you can work on that within. Like, don't worry, don't be on edge. Let's learn to kind of regulate your nervous system. I feel like that will be quite important for you. So you can learn that you don't need to be in survival mode anymore. Let's look at, um, let's look at all of this. What is the Six of Cups here for? Is the overall energy for the week for Taurus? 
the balance, sorry, it's time for balance. So again, this can actually be reconciliation, okay, whether it's between you and somebody else, or it could just be like, um, a really, again, a really old friend here coming through with that energy. Because temperance is all about uh, bringing harmony to situations. So again, depending on how it is for you, it does feel like this week, there is a lot of harmony between your connections with others. So if you're worried about it, this is just a really good time where I feel like you're connecting with the right people. There's not really much coming through as like having to make that kind of decision or choice around you about if somebody's right for you or not. It feels like it's time to bring to balance, again, what you give to others and what you're receiving from others and paying attention to relationships that are mutual and again, beneficial for both parties. It's a lot of mutual care and compassion here. Temperance harmony as well. This just feels really quite nice. Again, you could catch up with a really old friend here or, you know, make amends with somebody who you had beef with in the past, you know conflict with the uh, in the past is a deep understanding going through and if this is not outside of yourself this can definitely be going on within like you guys are making peace with the past here with that temperance what's important to understand is there is a the sun and the moon this is about balancing opposing energies and understanding both of them for what they are so it's not about dismissing what somebody has done or you know it's about understanding why the moon is here why is there the shadow self you know not everyone is perfect i think you're understanding that including yourself this could even be within you understanding and balancing um this energy okay Okay, yeah okay anyway so six of cups temperance does feel like some harmony coming through which is quite nice now six of wands let's have a little look and see what this is what else was underneath it seven of cups let's see for taurus why is this here as their energy for the week please seven of pentacles so that's interesting because it feels like you've been working on something for a while it could be your career it could be your finances it could be a certain goal here this is a really good time for studying actually uh i would say this is a really good time to study something especially if you're not seeing a lot of results out of things that you've been uh, working on it almost feels like there is something that you dive into some research that you might come across or an idea that you have that needs to be you know dived into a little bit more um that is going to really kind of resolve some sort of uh, confusion that you may have had that may have blocked you from having some sort of success or maybe even confidence or or whatever it is. Like the seven of pentacles is about something that you've been working um, very hard on for maybe a long time again. Money, career, I don't know what it is, self-development. The, the seven of cups feels like it's aligned with that seven of pentacles. So even though you've been working really hard and dedicating and committing yourself to something, there has been some confusion. Like it felt something feels like not completely clear um but with that page of swords coming through it does feel like you're gonna find an idea this week or something sparks up or and again it requires more information though this the page of swords is understanding there's a lot of layers to something um so maybe by diving deep into why you're not seeing results or researching upon a problem here that's causing some confusion it does feel like it's to do with some uh, more of the material um world here so finances and career and maybe your home situation whatever it is like feels more material world um the page of swords again it feels like once you find this information and dive deeper into it it could actually help you find some victory and that seems like what is going on for you guys here all right, my angels. It, again, it could be by speaking to others. It almost feels like you have to go on a search for this information. You have to kind of be curious about it, which I feel like you are with the Page of Swords being there. Right. Okay, that's interesting. And then, of course, it gives you some sort of clarity and uh, um, gets you out of a conflicting or confusing state, which is awesome. Right. Let's look at the Queen of Wands. Why is this a challenge or a blockage? The Ace of Cups. Look at that here right now for some of you could be pertaining to somebody romantically with the ace of cups and the queen of wands if it's outside of yourself and you're dating maybe a fire sign aries leo sagittarius um there could be a little bit of difficulty here uh within that but for the majority of you <laughs> i feel like everything will be fine by the way if it is somebody around you like i said i feel like there is a balance coming through the issue seems to be the ace of cups okay and that kind of feels like um 
in terms of somebody outside of yourself, maybe people have been kind of redrawing their cup or not feeling very loved. So that can be, you know, fixed. We just give them more of that, right? Um, but if this is to do with you, Taurus, with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups, again, your confidence being your challenge is is completely um, coming from a place of how much you love and appreciate yourself and how grateful for you, you are for, about yourself. So maybe you guys have been conditionally loving yourself, only loving yourself if you're successful or people in, enjoy your company or if you are a certain way, if you are perfect or if you are having good ideas all the time, if you shine the brightest in a room, you know, if you make up a certain amount of money or if you have a certain job title, like for a lot of you, you might be loving yourself only when you feel successful and then every t other time you might not be feeling that way so for a lot of you ace of cups what your challenge and blockage is really coming from a place of how much do you love yourself and is it conditional or unconditional all right so self-love will be so important this week so you can boost that confidence affirmations all right um anything where you can i don't know put some put some nice clothes on go out go to a party go enjoy yourself let your hair down like the queen of wands and the king of wands it's fiery energy right passionate energy so when you put yourself out there or you do things that bring you fun passion joy it's really going to make you feel better about yourself so maybe for some of you you need more fun in your life all right um and that might make you feel a bit more enjoy enjoying life and yourself a bit more. Let's look a little bit at the uh, hanged one in your external environment this week. Why is this here? Seven of Pentacles, sorry, Seven of Wands coming through. So for a lot of you, this is interesting because usually uh, the Seven of Wands can be a card of like, despite the odds you will have success, things could be coming up against you at the moment, which may be the reason why things are quite stagnant. Um, both of these also seem like you're having to build some inner peace around your environment. Uh, so and I'm going to look at the temple path in a second. But it does feel like maybe the past returns here to be brought into harmony. But that's a different message. In this case, it feels like you guys are having to learn how to protect your inner world from your outer world. Which is interesting because it does feel like there's a lot of chaos going on around you or a lot of responsibilities and stuff like that. It feels like life may be throwing you a lot of things at once. So that's why things might be a bit stagnant at the moment. It's, it's not stagnant in the case that you're not doing anything. It's stagnant because you're too busy trying to keep everything in line at the moment that there is no room or time for growth at the moment. But that will change, don't worry. Um, in the meantime, again, it's all about protecting your inner peace, finding enlightenment and understanding the situation through a different lens, looking at it a little bit differently, having a little different perspective um, at the moment. So, And it does feel like maybe a bit of gratitude here. They're giving me the saying where it's like, instead of saying like, I have to do something, saying like, I get the, I get the chance to do this and not everyone gets the chance to do what you're doing or, you know, um, looking at it from a different perspective can be important. However, it resonates for you. Now, we've already spoken about this inner world. Again, inner healing is needed. Understanding you are safe where you are, or at least stable, or you can work on it right now. Like you're no longer having to be in the nine of wands energy anymore. Okay? So healing any trust issues or worries that things are going to go wrong. You have to always be on guard and always anxious and always in control. Like it's let you're allowed to kind of take a rest is what I feel like with this energy. You're allowed to take some time for your feelings, your emotions, your mental health. Some of you might need a little bit of a break from your work to take some time out for your mental health as well. And it's almost like a reassurance going on with this energy, like calm down, like you can rest. All right, you, you can rest. Now let's look at the star as your advice for the week from spirit. Let's see what this is. The hanged man, they're like, it's coming over on top of the mystic. Uh, card as well so for a lot of you i mean maybe by looking at your environment from a different perspective and observing something here you might be able to find some sort of enlightenment about your dream or goals or something that you can heal here okay and it's coming over mysticism so again it could be intuitive one more for that the nine of wands so it does feel like it's referencing some sort of healing now seven of swords being here some of you are a little bit worried and anxious that people will betray you that people are not trustworthy or that people might sabotage something that you've been trying to build or create here three of swords that's why the nine of wands is here because you are still a bit wounded warrior here it's kind of giving ptsd not that i'm diagnosing you but i'm just saying like you know when people have been through something and like like i said like regulating your nervous system is so important because it feels like your body feels like it's still happening right and it feels like it can happen at any time but like what spirit's been saying 
you can be at peace now you're not around that environment not around those people anymore okay um so i feel like for some of you you are on god but it's just like the star cards about learning how to be vulnerable okay she's completely naked not anymore because i had to scribble on the card due to youtube's policies but um she's completely naked and that represents pure vulnerability right like she's not covering herself up or being scared that people are watching she's being vulnerable um so for a lot of you i feel like that could be something that they're wanting you to do this week is learning that you are safe where you are okay no one's gonna hurt you all right my angel you can you can let the guard down okay so you can focus on your dreams and your healing being the most important one here all right my angels that's what i have for you i love you guys i wish you all the best please let me know if the reading resonated with you in any way all right um in a comment section below uh, subscribe and like if you have not already but aside from all that i hope to see you guys next time all right